Morning, everyone. I'm Joe Torres. Sandra has the night off. We begin with breaking news in California's capital city. Authorities are looking for a suspect in a deadly mass shooting in Sacramento. Officers arrived on the scene early this morning and immediately began life saving measures to multiple victims. One man says his son is one of the six victims. Tell these young men to stay out the streets, quit playing these games that are stoning in their lives. Sacramento police say they recovered at least one firearm at the scene. Eyewitness News reporter Lucy Yang has the latest developments from the newsroom. Lucy. Well, Joe, just when folks feel comfortable gathering again, we have a horrific shooting in downtown Sacramento. At least half a dozen dead. Officials are still trying to process what they call a complex and complicated crime scene at 10th and K Streets, which then spans at least two city blocks. Six were killed, at least 10 others injured, according to police, when gunfire erupted early Sunday morning in downtown Sacramento, just blocks from the state capitol. One of the victims has a GSW to the right leg. Three walking gunshot wound victims. I copy that. We need more units over there. The shooting happened just after 2 a.m. California time. This morning, our city has a broken heart. This is a senseless and unacceptable tragedy. And I emphasize the word unacceptable. Sacramento police are handling the investigation with assistance from the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, Firearms and Explosives. Investigators are also reaching out to the public, asking for photos, videos or any relevant evidence to be submitted to police. We are asking for the public's help in helping us to identify uh, the suspects in this and provide any information that you can to help us solve this. An information center has been set out for frantic families of the victims. I'm just to the point right now, I don't know what to do. I don't even think this is real. I feel like it's a dream. California's Governor Gavin Newsom and his wife releasing this statement, quote, the scourge of gun violence continues to be a crisis in our country, and we must resolve to bring an end to this carnage. So much heartache after each mass shooting, so much collective outrage, and yet no answer for, the, for stopping these tragedies. Not clear at this hour how many gunmen are believed responsible for unleashing death into the crowd. Joe.